Welcome back to yet another beautiful day here in the Mojave Desert. Um, I got two things for you today with the JJRC HHC. Uh, I noticed I was getting a lot of jello, uh, even with my 808 keychain camera attached to this quadcopter. So last night I did what's called uh, prop rotor balancing or propeller balancing. Um, it's very simple to do. You run the quadcopter at uh, low RPM and then you run extremes of the pitch roll bar or the pitch roll control um, to speed up the different propellers on the quadcopter and you're looking for which one is vibrating the most or if any of them is uh, vibrating more than usual. Um, if you notice a large amount of vibration coming from a propeller all you need to do is put a piece of tape on one side of the propeller um, run it up again see if that reduces or increases the vibration if it increases the vibration it's likely you put the tape on the wrong side so just move the tape to the other side and try it again and see if that reduced the vibration well I did it for all four props and sure enough you know I checked all four props sure enough they were each of them and every one of them was out of balance pretty bad all actually so there's a piece of tape on all four of these propellers seems to be running very smooth now and we'll see if that helps reduce any of the jello that I was getting with this 808 keychain camera. Now another thing, um, I was getting mediocre ranges with the base transmitter. I was getting great ranges with my WL Toys transmitters, but when I used this base transmitter, the stock transmitter that comes with a quadcopter, I was getting bad ranges. Um, only out to about 60 meters or so. You know, this thing I believe is advertised out to past 100 meters or to 100 meters at least. So I opened it up and sure enough, uh, the antenna that comes with it was uh, miscut. It wasn't at the full 31 millimeter for a uh, quarter wavelength antenna at 2.4 gigahertz. It was only like 23 millimeters. And so I just soldered on last night a simple wire extension. I left it inside the case itself um, to see if that improves the range. So we're going to see if that helps improve the range of my uh, X5C uh, using the stock transmitter. I'm, I'm going to start off with a high altitude flight to see what out, kind of altitude I can get with it. And if I get good altitude, I'm going to try to keep it at a little bit distant of myself here on the ground, checking out the horizontal range. So I hope you enjoy this flight, and let's go right into it. We'll start off in 25% uh, mode. Let's see. 75, 100, 25% uh, for steady video. Okay, let's go for a flight. I start off and take it up to altitude to see what kind of altitude I get. And already, okay. And it's out to about 100 meters. And so with the mod, I'm getting about 100 meters altitude. Keep it in, in, in slow 25% uh, mode here. 25% turn also. Hopefully this mod here will give me great range. I'm not past 100 meters right now, so this did fix it. Feeling better about this quad now. <laughs> I felt great about this quad before. It's a great performer when you use it with a different transmitter and its base. But with this uh, simple range extension, all I did was uh, pop the case. To pop the case open, it's two screws on the outside of the case. Then inside the battery door, there's a, an additional two screws that opens up the case itself. And then on the circuit board, there's two more screws that you need to remove so you can gain access to the back of the circuit board uh, and that um, it's, it gains access to the antenna. The antenna has a shielded cable running to it. Oh, I'm getting ex excellent range with this actually right now. There's a shielded cable that runs to it, um, but the actual antenna itself is a little 25 millimeter or a little silver sliver of an antenna at the end of that black ca uh, shielded cable. Um, I measured the length of mine, and sure enough, it was only like 25 millimeters in length instead of uh, 
31 millimeters for a quarter wavelength antenna. So that was definitely the problem. All I did was clear, or I cut a, uh, there was some clear insulation on the, on the outside of that antenna. It's very, uh, very flimsy antenna, but you've got to carefully remove some of that silver, or some of that clear insulation so you can gain access to the actual metal antenna inside that insulation. And I just um, soldered on an extension wire. It could be, you can use any metallic wire for this extension wire. Had a little drop out there. I don't know what that was about, but no problem. I was at sufficient altitude to stop the drop. <laughs> but anyways, I put on an extension. It's, it's full 125 millimeters now, that antenna. And it seems to be working well, with the exception of whatever that little dropout was there, I don't know. There's nothing around here to give me interference that I know of. <laughs> but other than that, there's some buildings over there, I don't know what, what's over there. Okay, it's working reasonably well with this extension on it. So I'm going to bring it in and go into my next flight. I'm going to do a flight with my V636 and talk about macrobatics, maneuverable acrobatics. <laughs> I'm going to teach people how to do funnels. So if you're interested, check out my other video. I'm going to do funneling with the V636. Let's bring in this quad and go into the, to the next video for today. Welcome back, HHC. Hope you all enjoyed that flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.